Hello and welcome to my Canva Instagram post tutorial, where if you couldn't have guessed already, it's going to show you how to create Instagram posts on Canva, but I'm going to show you a great way of streamlining the process where all you really need to do is change around the text once you got what's right for you. If you'd like to follow along or if, in case you haven't gotten to test out Canva, I will leave my link down below. They do come with a free plan, which is always good. So first and foremost, the first step is going to be searching for Instagram. By doing this, it's going to give you plenty of templates that relate to Instagram. Obviously here they have 677,000 plus, which is great. Uh, there's one I already found, but I'm just going to scan through very quickly just to show you what they have to offer. Uh, obviously I can't go through all of them. We'd be here forever, but there is one specific one. I must have missed it that I really like and allow me to find it very quickly. Oh, there it is. So this is a pro one. I do have a pro account at the time. So keep in mind, you would need a pro just to be able to use that. The process is going to be identical for any other template that you use. Let's utilize this one and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, but I love doing stuff that's simple, that's clean, kind of minimalistic, pretty much kind of like my style in real life. Uh, anyway, let's just edit this in. So let's just say, you know, you would put your name in here. We have our username, Marketing Island. And of course we have our quote, but before we get to that, let's change the picture. So I have my uploads right here. And what I want to do is drag this in and it's going to center oh so nicely. I have a PNG, which means it's transparent. So that's going to look great just like that. And of course, all we need to do here is edit our quote. So let's just highlight all of this and give me a sec. I'm going to come up with a quote. Okay. So in a world full of constant distractions, focus is key. I don't know if that's some like super popular quote. It kind of just came up with off the top of my head. I'm just trying to make this as straight as possible right in the middle. So if you're super OCD and you want to have it like completely centered based upon where the picture is, that's going to be a good spot for it. Now, I'm not sure why it has this. I don't know if it's kind of like a joke or something funny. Clearly, when you post something, it's not going to have that. And under Instagram, it's going to have its own. So if you want to keep that, that's up to you. Maybe if you want to put something else, that's something you could brainstorm or you could just delete it or whatever it is. You know, that's completely up to you. That's based upon aesthetics, design and what you want on your Instagram post. The idea here is that once you get something right, and let's say we like this, what we're going to do is go to share. This is where we're going to save it. So we go to download. And of course, this looks good. We can download. We're going to be good to go. So all you would need to do from here is change around the quotes. Now, I understand that not every single uh, person out there is going to be wanting to do success quotes. You can obviously post your thoughts and feelings. It doesn't have to be that. It could be anything related to text, but this is just going to give you a great template when it comes to utilizing Instagram. And of course, you can go from there and change it around. So let me just do another quote. Right, so you never lose, either you win or you learn. And once again, let's center that up. Perfect. And the same thing, you would just go ahead and you would download that. So let me give you a different example. Maybe you want to do one with a picture. Okay, we have that there. I don't know why I did that, but same thing. Let's go on right here. So this is going to be a section where you can add a picture and you could do just say some text. So let me just go ahead and find a great picture. Actually, I'm going to go to Unsplash. Give me one second. Here I just found one that is related to social media overall. I'm just going to download this one very quickly. And what I want to do is upload it. So uploads and let's do a new one. So now that we have that there, let's drag it on in. Perfect. So that's going to be the middle. You know, what's your favorite social media website? Comment down below. And of course, you could change this around. Really great site. Let's just say, you know, it was yours. I'm just going to do Marketing Island. And then, of course, if you want to change the background, that's very easy to do. You know, maybe that's not your color. Definitely wouldn't be mine. Green, not bad. Hmm, not too bad. Kind of like that. Looks cool. But anyway, that's just another example where maybe you want to change around the pictures even more. The main idea here is that you're going to pick and choose a template that you like. You could have multiple templates. So you could say, I like using this one when it comes to pictures. I can put a picture here and I can either ask a comment or ask someone to comment. I can talk about it or I can use something like this where I'm literally just changing around the text. Either way, when you're done, share it, save it, repeat the process, and you're going to be good to go. So that's my very quick tutorial when it comes to using Canva to create Instagram posts. Hope you got some value out of this. I hope it helps you streamline the process and save a ton of time in the process overall. Don't forget, you can check out Canva if you haven't yet. My link will be down below in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.